so when you run into Boomer Esiason, do you <laughs> reminisce about that year in Arizona when he was out there? I mean, he was miserable. He oh. was miserable. <laughs> was I mean, miserable. I mean, he just he didn't want to be there. He wanted to play. I mean, I know you guys have heard the stories where he walked out and, you know, those kind of things. I, I'll never forget. <laughs> I can't listen. I, I've been hit in football before. You know, it, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremy, who was a trotter, Jeremiah trotter. I mean, he knocked me out in a game. But I will tell you this, I've never been hit in the locker room before other than Boomer. And what it was just hilarious because he was miserable, right? His, neck, his locker is right next to mine. And um, I had this little bouncing. Those little, remember those little Super Bowls? Yeah. If you used to get in the supermarket, I mean, you could bounce them, and they would just, like, ding, ding, all over the place. So I was playing this little game, trying to bounce this ball so that it would hit the ground, hit the wall, and try to go into the trash can. And Boomer was sitting there. I do remember Boomer was always into every sports. He was checking out baseball. He was checking out so the USA Today, the old newspaper. I, I hit the ball one time. It hit off. You know, sometimes they just, like, they go wherever you're not. You don't know where it's going. And it, it knocked the paper out of Boomer's hand. And Boomer turned around and looked at me and punched me straight in the chest as hard as I've ever been hit in my life. And he said to me, would you just stop it? Stop it with the ball. You know, I'm like, dude, well, first it took me like five minutes to catch my breath. But I'm like, come on, Boomer, what the heck? So that, you know, you can ask him next time you see him about that, man. That hurts. That hurts. That is, <laughs> That's my uh... Boomer story. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs>